Oh. Hi. Wow, I forgot about this entire part of the building. Oh, this is the stairs that are broken if we're comparing it to the asylum uh, place, huh? I haven't seen you in eternity. I think you were at the village the last time? The Albanarx village? Shit, let's take a look around down here. When's the last time I was down here? Ow! Oh! Shit, I have completely forgotten about this place. I think I haven't spent that much time exploring this place because there's so few NPCs here. Like, it's kind of, it, it's kind of a drought. Like, I feel like there's, I feel like there's like, more of a density of our, of NPCs at like the Dark, the Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne bases. Not, not the Hunter's Dream, but the, uh, that one place you send people to when, when you've saved them in Dark, in Bloodborne. Assassin's Prayer book. I really need to figure out where the fuck that guy went. I have so many books to give him. Dude, I completely lost track of this place. Have I been down here before, even? Maybe. But yeah, like, I don't have enough... To, it, it's really... It's a really segmented area that has bad, like, line of sight and all that, but also, like... Not that much reason to explore. Because the relatively small number of NPCs quickly started vanishing from this place. To the point where, at this point, until I found her just now, I thought this place was just... The two people that upgrade my stuff, the person that upgrades your summons and the person that upgrades your weapons. Uh, that's most of it. <laughs> there's the, uh, the there's like the crone NPC statue vendor thing that might not even be a, a, a living character, but they sell you uh, items that are basically like dropped from when other people die and, they, and, and you need to be able to, to buy stuff from them in the future. There's the guy that kind of lore dumps on you, but mostly just, he doesn't really have that much updating dialogue a lot of the time. The one that wants to be Elden Lord. Uh, there's Poopy Man. Guy who wants to defile your body. <laughs> he just hangs out there being, talking about that a lot of the time. Uh, and I guess I guess there is the, the crone and the two fingers. Like, one of those is a vendor that's barely an NPC. There's the Poopy guy that doesn't ever seem to update. Uh, and there's the old, there's the guy that wants to be Elden Lord, where he doesn't really update. And then there's the the, the crone with the two fingers, which you're pretty much programmed to visit her at specific intervals, which is like whenever you beat a, a main boss. So when you're, as far as like coming up here and doing your like Mass Effect one, you're on the Normandy. Let's do the loop and talk to all the party members and see how their dialogue is updated. You quickly run out of people to check in on, because both of the people up there that upgrade your stuff also mostly stop talking about new things and just stand around and wait for you to talk to them. So I don't know. This is a strange, sneaky... Like, <laughs> discovering her down here is very strange and sneaky, where I'm like, what? What are you doing down here? You would think NPCs that they want you to catch up with at some point would spawn in, like, the central room. Which they did do, like how the, uh, the lady that does the summons she came into the middle room to talk to me. It's like, that seems like an elegant way to handle that. But then again, like, much like the tutorial at the beginning of the game, I think that From Software often intentionally wants you to miss things in these games so that everybody, probably so that everyone has a different experience with it, basically. And it feels like, oh my god, look what I did whenever, I, whenever you actually do find something. Because it feels like you genuinely found it. So I don't know. Those are kind of mutually exclusive ideas, so I don't really know the answer, necessarily. All I know is that they do it, they, I, they're definitely too smart, as far as I can tell, to be, like, not knowing what they're doing with some of the stuff. Like, it would be sloppy if this was, like, meant to all be found, because, like, look how, look how hard it is to f keep up with anything. But yeah, like, I... Man... Were you the daughter of the guy that wants to be Elden Lord? Was that your story? I think I found her on the way to Godric the Grafted. And then... Uh, was his name Godric the Grafted? The, 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 the first boss, basically. And then I saw her at the village of the Albanarx. 
And that's mostly it, actually. So she's been very stretched thin across a long game. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. No. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ne yeah, needing to think is pathetic. Fucking how dare you. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Um? Well, this is the reset, usually. Will she move? Will she finish thinking? <laughs> Please, it's pathetic and... What? What? <laughs> After how long you've been gone, you just want to, like, hang out now? Hello. This nub is something else, isn't it? I think that's new. So at this point, I put out the call to the audience to be like, Hey, I feel like we're getting pretty late in this thing. And I might be doing this a little late because that's on fire and that kind of feels like a big deal of like a world state change. So I might be too late for some of the stuff. But anyway, I'm like, I'm letting people steer me towards some of the stuff I've missed so that everyone can be a little more satisfied with some of the stuff that otherwise would have been dropped completely. So we're cheating a little bit more at this point. But at this point, this, a lot of the stuff that I didn't find yet, I would have just beaten the game without ever finishing because... I feel like we're getting close. Granted, I thought that the capital might be the end of the game, and now we beat that zone, and then the next zone, and now I'm in another zone, so I have no idea how long the game is at this point. But I'm trying to figure out what to do. And I'm following hints about where I might want to go next. Hello. That's a gate. Hmm. Can you not? What was that sound? That was a weird sound. Hello. There's my note up there. The four belfries. So I guess you can expect four of these towers. Yep, those are belfries. Oh. Do they all require swords? This contextualizes some of why I have so many swords and not enough gargoyles to put them in. Ah, <laughs> this map's so fucking big, I can't explore it as well as I normally want to. Have I been to that island? Dude, I second guess everything. There's so much map. I look, I, ooh, there's like a little forest here. I always find myself glancing around in it, trying to figure out anything I might have missed so far. But there's always just so much of it that it's overwhelming. I'm like, I am so thorough in like Dark Souls 3 and stuff. But it's, it's very difficult to do that. Especially with no, like... Let's see. Especially with, no, with like, no, like, fog of war. An imbued sword key. But I don't, I don't really have, like, a way of very methodically showing where I have and haven't been. I heard that's... Uh, this is all the more reason why I really did, like, the hero's path in Breath of the Wild. It was so nice having a line that just said, where you've been. And you're like, oh, shit. Look at this view. It so thoroughly resembles the basalt columns and, and like the aesthetic reason for why they use those so much in video games. Uh, but they're not, as far as I can tell. They're not actual regular columns. Similarly, I was always going back and forth on Outer Wilds and Death Stranding for having things that looked a lot like basalt columns, 
and we're definitely tapping into the aesthetic visual like reason why you you would have basalt columns but they just never quite looked like them well, all right let's go to the one that i already put a sword into so i don't lose track of which ones i've done and haven't done so far having to activate them is very good for being able to tell which ones i've done so far what a significant looking look this is i think this will be a rewarding process trying to find every well wow that would have this would have been a moment <laughs> hey hey you down there I haven't I haven't seen that yet that's all new I think I'm there. That, that long arch there, I think under there might be where I fought the dragon. So I might be I might be in that building right now with my with my grace, with all this being what's coming next. Because we're all heading towards that big like that really big building that has a hole in it, so you can see inside from the outside. Dude, what a moment this would have been! No, I was trying to get out of. <laughs> I was trying to get out of being in uh, in the binocular mode and couldn't figure out the button. And then I rolled forward off the cliff. Good job, me. Dude. This is really early in the game. Oh man, I feel a little left out. <laughs> there were a lot of those though. They're all and they're always optional, but there's these moments where you can get a hint of what's gonna come next, like when I teleported into the middle of the capital and fought that giant, the, the golem thing. It turns out you could have also teleported into this place that I'm in right now in the game. So late. And you would just be wondering what the fuck you're looking at. Like, what is this insane... You can see all the dragons. Space and, like, gravity looks fucked. What a trip. The fact that you could have been here a long time ago. Oh, this looks like a whole thing. This is nuts. All right. <laughs> I wonder if... That could be what this whole zone is. This whole zone could be a series of previews of later areas, which might be largely pointless for me now. But we can be amused by it. God, it was just off the road. There's so much road and so much world. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't fully trusting that one at all. Um, that looks better. Mm. Ooh, something's coming. Oh, hi. Oh! Jump. No! Again. We're doing well with gravity. Uh, he's getting a lot of kills. The KD on gravity is just out of this world. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm happy to see that lady again, even if I don't know what she wants or what's going on. Or why she just says she has to think. Because it might still mean I can do her storyline. I was a little worried that once I burned the tree, which I maybe committed to a little too fast, that it might be the kind of world state change that just fails every quest. As they have done in the past to some extent. Like when things get a Lovecrafty. Did you never trigger bleed that whole time? Hey there. Rude. 
Oh, it's gonna hit. Ow. No! Sometimes their timing feels so perfect that it's, it feels like they're input reading. Like they're specifically doing stuff the moment you can't respond anymore. Because they can feel it. A little rude, a little dickish. Beautiful, oh beautiful. Bit of a nightmare, just wondering how we're floating in the air and how we're alive right now. Those guys probably would have kicked your ass if you got here back when this was first available. Not massively complex movesets or anything, I guess, but they're not a safe fight. Let there be fire. What's over there? What is over there? Like, that's the tree. It's that far away, but it looks that close because it's so huge. Oh, that's the... That's you, the Forge of the Giants. Dude, it looks so much closer than the map makes it look. But these things are so big. It's cool being able to tell what these things are. It's really specific landmarks like that that I need in order to spot stuff. Other stuff is just like, hey, there's a... There's a big cliff with a castle. I'm like, I, it's... Uh, <laughs> they're very beautiful. I can't tell which cliff is which. <laughs> Here we go. The Pearl Drake Talisman. Is that resistance to all elements? I think. Okay, I'm not that smart. <laughs> I already have the better one. <laughs> I was like, wow, look at me just intuiting what the thing is. I'm like, I've already seen the second one. Plus one just literally has a second one on it. That's funny. Well, now I know where the original one was. I missed it all the way back here. Uh, is this a teleport out only situation? I guess so. This game's so big. All right. Well, where did the other ones go? It might just be every zone. I could totally see this being the kind of area where they they tease the entire structure of the game. But you have to find it, so you could have just never gone here like I did. But they could totally be like, and here's Kaelid, and here's the giant's mountaintop. It's actually uh, the same mentality that they used in a Mario Odyssey. Where in each level you could go through a portal of some kind to the load into another level, but up on an island where you couldn't reach the level from. But you could see it in advance as a tease. Nokron! A secret Nokron Island. Nokron Wood, huh? Oh, we're way out here. It's the other side of the bridge thing! Yeah. You do, like, horse platforming to get over here, and then you loop around and go back around, and you just get items and stuff. But there was an abyss and then more past there. We're on that part of, of Nokron. You can get here. You could have even gotten here first. There's a guy down there. Yeah, here's the, uh, right, right below me down there. This place is so beautiful. The fact that this is apparently like a, this, this is, a, this is the, the Elden Ring equivalent of a clip show, finding this place this late in the game. Just sort of a recap of really, really eye-catching visuals. They might have specifically gone for the most visually stunning places. Just to be like, hey, you know, am I ever going to go up there? Have I been up there yet? So I can probably survive getting down there. Yeah. <laughs> it was getting a little nervous. 
I'm gonna go sliding off the ledge. Is that a crucible knight? Here to kick my ass? You're still doing glove work twos this late in the game? Oh wait, no, this isn't late in the game. Right, because you could have found this right at the beginning. I mean, I went close to here pretty early in the game, because I, I, I hadn't even killed the grafted boss yet. I went almost straight here. So this could have been your first encounter with one of these guys, which are just a nightmare. Ow! Ow. Alright. Uh, it's a little rude how neither of us were getting any interruptions. We were just comboing through each other. Ow, your sword's too big. Stop it. Phrasing. Ow. Oh. Time for scary. But not scary enough. <laughs> Bleed. Do you bleed? Why am I using this weapon? It's not even my, my go-to preference. There we go. You're not my favorite weapon. These are. I use that other weapon when I feel like I have to. I feel like people kept telling me that I can't stick with this weapon because it's not going to be that good in, l in the long term and you'll have to switch to something else. But I feel like that's remained untrue. <laughs> it seems to be a very strong weapon. Uh, it's just that sometimes it's unusable. It was like a rainbow one? A modeled necklace. Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. Happy Pride Month. Is this video coming out in Pride Month? I don't actually actually don't know if it'll still be June. Probably it'll still be June. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm that ahead. But I am always the most ahead in Elden Ring. It's a game that's very easy just to hop into and spend a lot of time in. It, it's it's got pretty much all the things that keep my attention and none of the things that can be draining and as much as I have my misgivings about open world in general it is uh, an easy enough genre in many cases to just keep going and going makes it easy to get too many videos done I had that once with the uh, it's happened with Elden Ring, but it also happened with like Judgment and some and some of the Yakuza stuff sometimes where I'm sometimes like a month ahead of the videos because it's so easy to binge Yakuza games. The Chapel of Antissa. Patient. Where the fuck is this? Oh! Oh! It's the weird island. I've wondered about this place. I forgot I was wondering about this place because I gave up so long ago. Oh, this is the beginning of the game, isn't it? You start off here and you go forward and then you walk into a big area and there's a wall on your right and you don't know what's gonna happen and then suddenly a monster shows up out of nowhere and, and kills you. And it was one of those like multi-limbed things that like aren't even real boss fights, but they are like mini bosses. Like they are really tough and rare enemies. Yeah, and it was like a surprise. Like there was no like hint that there was even going to be a health bar. I can have revenge on that guy now. He's going to not do well, probably, <laughs> uh, considering he was probably designed to be technically beatable. That's not saying much actually, but he's he's supposed to be like somewhat reasonably beatable as a low level character probably does the 
Going up there, and then mirror there, and then bridge back. I'm trying to think of this mirror's... Does this, re does this resemble Firelink Shrine from Dark Souls 3? I'm trying to think about that. There's sometimes asset reuse, but more often there's like callbacks on purpose. Referential shit. Grafted Scion. He had a shield and everything. This was a dick move. Having this guy show up at the beginning, it's so much worse than the demon from Demon Souls or something. Like, look how many fucking limbs he has. And he has a shield, and he does that, and that. All right. Yell all you want, bud. Boom! Ornamental straight sword. Golden Beast Crest Shield. Never gonna use those. That's yeah, worth checking. Is it a, is, it's a gold weapon, so it might be Faith. When I see Ornamental Straight Sword, the first thing I think of is Oscar from uh, Demon Souls. It is not Faith. Slender Straight Sword patterned after an antique ornament. Superior swordsmen prefer to wield one in each hand. After falling from grace, the dregs of the Golden Lineage sought power and purpose in the past. Ah, fascism. We. Always a little worrying when you're glorifying the past. Hello. Familiar statue. Ventiso. Patient. Victory. Revenge. Yes. Exactly that. So that scratched two itches. Because you figure you're going to be able to get back to the beginning of the game somehow. And you also figure you're going to be able to... Uh, get to that island at some point because it just looked distinct. And I did both. And they were the same place. But it took so long that I forgot I even had that goal. Kind of reminds me of how long I wanted to get on top of that uh, on top of that plateau, only to finally, finally end up there during the Ronnie quest chain. Finally had our answers. Wasn't there a door I tried to open that, that wouldn't open? I was wondering how you get like behind it or something. Try jumping. You know, I think I'm gonna do that. Hello. I think this is the door that was closed before. And it is not. The Stormhawk King. I'll be looking for summons. There are so many summons. All right, let's do it. Nope, not that one. This one? That's that one. Is it not an ashes? Is it a key item? It is. Oh, it looks like an ashes. Ashes of a hawk, which heeds no summons. Oh, it's an ashes you can't use. Ashes of a hawk revered by all others as sovereign back in the days when Stormvale's winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer at anyone's summons. Sovereign. <sighs> is this... Is it indicative of an heir? This might finally hook back into the storyline about getting an heir for that place. Since Mr. Kenneth Height has just been standing there for like 10 years waiting for me to find one. Well, like, well, here, here's the, uh, the equivalent of like the bird from Avatar that only answers to like the proper heir or something. Stormhawk Dean. Is that one I get to use? 
That's crafting. Spirit of a fierce hawk that faithful, faithfully rendered lifelong service to the old king of Stormvale long ago. When the true storm raged, its cries emboldened its fellows in battle and the tempestuous winds that encircle its sh shred through foes. You doing okay? Though the path can be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Did y'all really find a suicide button and then all run up to the woman and make a a, a menstruation joke? <laughs> That's the amount of effort involved in that. It might actually might be it might even be it might be worse than a menstruation joke actually. Claim your place as Elden Lord that has other implications. Well, I think I found the thing around here. Was there another one? Dude, how many of these are there? It's like how that chunk on the right side of the map turned out to be like the inverted castle library or whatever that also had a village behind it full of jar people. And I'm like, I really thought I was done exploring that area, honestly. I was not expecting to find the inverted castle or the jar people. It just keeps going. So the four belfries are three portals that go to Whirlwind Land, Nokron, and the beginning of the game. And then a chest. So I think I've been to all of them. I'm gonna check in on seeing if, if she's been updated now. I have a lot of different like Dark Souls troubleshooting brain things. Kind of like how I buy all the spells from people to try to proceed with their storylines. But one of the other ones is number of bosses defeated. Specifically, Dark Souls 3 was filled with logic surrounding how many bosses you've beaten so far. Where it would often be tied to like, uh... It's actually negative things mostly, but like basically after you talk to an NP NPC, it would start counting how many bosses you've beat and that would proceed with their storyline sometimes, but It'd actually be a failure check state in many cases. Like, uh, people that like like there's a guy who you make a deal with to bring him all of the uh, the books for sorceries or something, and if you beat at too many bosses in a row without giving him a new one, then he uh, he just leaves, like because he like you're not honoring your deal. It's like oh shit, I'd be really careful about how you manage your progression through this game. Ah, you, please leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I. I need to think. Yeah, but what if instead of thinking, you didn't think? Womp womp. Alright, so how about you? It's a new Ashes thingy. You have any take on it? I see. You're here for some sp You can spirit tuning. You're beautiful. Is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. Put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Yeah, I don't know if he'll leave. I know, I just gotta self-actualize him and be like, you're so... You've got value and you deserve love and whatnot. And then he'll be like, yeah, you're right, I should leave this burning place. You're beautiful. Lay out your arms. Nope. <laughs> What happened to her? I upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. 
And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> what use have I for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? There's usually another way. But you would choose not to see it. Nor to use it. Do you have anything new to say, Daddy? <laughs> He's here. Uh, you. What is it? Wow, we're so friendly now. Oh, Nefeli's despair. Ah. Uh, you've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Unlocated demigods. There are four more oh, why did I do this? You know what? Actually, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes I just autopilot. I'm like, let's click on the thing again. <gasps> Hmm. I was I was right to draw a connection between them, or draw. I guess I mean remember. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I. I need to think. I heard from Gideon. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Yes. Definitely. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. Oh. We have the Stormhawk King. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Roderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. In this ash, it reminds me. It reminds you of your first hawk. Is she the heir? Is it actually we're going with this then? <laughs> well, <laughs> how can you be like, oh, is, is he the bad guy? Is he not actually have my best interest in heart? Oh no. How can you be thinking in those terms, like having doubts about that when he cast you out? His daughter. I don't remember if you're actually his daughter or if it's like adopted daughter or what. In this ash, it reminds me of my foot. Reminds you of your first hawk. I'm thinking she's the heir, so I'm gonna check. Because she's her dialogue seems to stop again. I can check I can check Gideon's again to see if it changed. But I don't think so. Yeah. You know what? I think he may not be in the best guy. Probably not the raddest dude. I really wish this zone didn't have enemies in it. <laughs> it just gets old having to re-clear it every time I want to visit this guy. Especially since 
it, I'm wrong every single time, and the story never continues. So I have to keep re-clearing this. It's not hard. It's just annoying. But the uh, he's not near the grace, and then the the area he's in is full of enemies. I do not like it. I do not. Hello. Die. Hello. Die. Die. Because if you don't kill them, they're all going to come up after you and chase you. For all the roaring you guys are doing, it doesn't seem to actually call any of the other guys to come fight you. Fight, fight with you. It, they're leaving you alone. Dude, you didn't even get him. You had one job. I'm uh, just gonna interrupt me. You're lucky you're cute, because you don't get anything done. I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Nope. <laughs> No follow-up, no additional dialogue, nothing else to say to him. Womp. So I seem to be wrong about that. Oh, so this is where the story is hiding. Hello. So how'd y'all find each other? Oh, even you're here. You fucking gremlin. Ah, you is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Hmm. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Just bragging about that to my face, huh? Your inventory has not changed. What's that new? Oh, ancient dragon smithing stone. That's new. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't there before. Ah, back again, are we? Curious one you are. Well then, what are you after? That was a real big deal of an item. Hello. I think that might be the reward for doing this whole thing, basically. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Another one. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. I can't even make it to the level where I can spend one of those on one weapon. I'm only upgrading one weapon with normal stones, and it's still like multiple levels off from being able to use them, and I have three of them now. Where's my sombers? Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm, but your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Well, you finally got your goddamn destiny. <laughs> your storyline paused for like 50 episodes. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my own promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood 
I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. By the time I get... By the time he finally raises me to knighthood, I'm gonna be done becoming Elden Lord. For the time being, I share command of the castle. At which time I by raising you, I hope it is... Well, I'm glad you all have seemed to reach an ending. That doesn't involve all of you being dead, although maybe that guy should be. <laughs> that guy's concerning. He's so excited to rob corpses. How many more corpses are you expecting to find around this castle? After the change in leadership's already done. Because that's alarming in its own way, right? There we go. We're scratching itches all over the place today. For, <laughs> getting back to that island I didn't know how to get back to. Getting back to the beginning of the game, which was the same place. Having... I, I honestly didn't remember you that consistently, so I didn't really know where you were, what you were up to. Because uh, you kind of disappeared, but... Some of the ones that I'm like, when do I get to resolve this? Are like, the, the guy with the prongs just stands there forever? And like, you. You clearly were like, prompting for something to happen. It wasn't that much, you just, I guess you guys just found each other off camera and... And they're like, ah, yes, you're the, you're the new, you're the new lord here. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> I'm back! He's not here. He's not here. The later is not yet. So I just died somewhere. But what was noteworthy is that I was like, I think this is new. I don't remember fighting this guy. I should probably take a closer look. And then yeah, I'm looking at the map and I'm like, oh... I was trying to get to this Colosseum, right? And I took this route. But the route took me to the sanctuary where I fought, uh, was it Godwin? Godric? The ghost? Which now the corpse lady slept with, I guess? Or something? But I think I never actually made it to the Colosseum before. Because I was fighting this, this enemy and I'm like, I'm not sure if I fought this guy before. And then he killed me. So I did a great job. But yeah, I followed this route up, but like I expected to get there, but I don't think I did get here before. So let's hop on down. This guy wasn't hugely difficult, but he caught me off guard with an attack. That was just enough when I was almost had him down. Yep. Oh! See? See how they do that? These attacks that are more attack than you're expecting. Did my attack just not go off? Okay, well. Good. There we go. Better. <laughs> God damn. I've seen like some random bits of Andrew playing this game, and he's a strength build with a giant club, and boy, that really does feel like easy mode <laughs> of Elden Ring sometimes. Just the ability to stop your enemy dead in their tracks, often increasingly large ones. Okay, that's an item on the ground that's purple that pretty definitively says I haven't been here. It's hard to tell who you can backstab in this game. Oh, no! One hit from death. That was a strong throw. I had reason to think it would work with him because uh, I already backstabbed that other guy when he was in his weakened state. Ritual shield talisman. But yeah, I'm never completely clear. Oh, maybe this place will have the sewer, finally, that I've been trying to find. <laughs> I still haven't found the sewer in this area. I mean, I have, but like the deeper sewer? The defilement dude is somewhere in here.
Does this entire door open? Nope. That was a shield to talisman, right? Yep. Raises defense when HP is at maximum. Ah. Makes your makes your first hit take less damage. The practice a talisman padded after shield used in ritual combat held to honor the air tree. The practice died out by the age of King a Consort Radagon, but remains of the arenas were where ritual combat took place can still be found in every land. Item ahead. There's one at the end. Friendly? Not friendly, but they're not moving either. Corhin's bell bearing? Flail. Oh no! Did he die? Oh, he, cause he was, wasn't he praying to the tree? The star fist. Shit. <laughs> oh, did burning the tree make me lose access to faith spells forever? Can you give the book to the bell bearing? <laughs> Oh, that sucks. So it seems like this is where I was supposed to find him again and continue the storyline, but now he's just dead because I burned the air tree. Well, some have been lucky and some haven't been. Because of the way that it always feels like the game's ending for a while, I've never been sure when to start obsessively backtracking. And this one, unlike the last one, seems to have been too late. Alright. Yeah, I don't think he can get inside of this place, so I think it's just this rim with a couple items and apparently him. But I, I missed the chance to jump jump off. Sneaky NPCs. All right, well let's uh, let's hand it in. God, how many of these books do I have now? Are they key items or unlockables? The match up here. I have three. The Giant's Prayer Book, Assassin's Prayer Book, and Two Fingers Prayer Book. Oh yeah, it's also Eiji's bell, bell bearing. Hey, uh, any updates about your daughter becoming the Lord? I hear you help get the girl back on her feet. Though I'm not her foster father anymore, I'd still like to thank you. Sorry for the time you had to waste. You're a prick. <laughs> it was like somewhat positive for a moment there, but it ended so negatively that it's like, okay, well, fuck this guy. Oh, this is going to get to be a really crowded store at some point, isn't it? Cracked crystal. So regular stones up to six, sombers up to four, a bunch of these things. That's about it, unless it's uh, in here. Oh, Eiji's up to four. Salivus. You can still buy some of these spells. D, I already bought his. Corhin. Yeah, I bought his, I bought all of his before I moved on. That's brutal. Three entire books I didn't get a chance to hand in. They could have good spells. Ah. Like, I'll be fine. We're late enough in the game that clearly I don't need spells that much, but 
That's like a playthrough crippling problem when you can't hand in the books that lead to you getting the spells for your build. That sucks. It happens. You're still here. One of the only people that still is.